don't own Tesla stock if you just don't like Elon. Everybody hates Elon. Another installment. Shout outs to Liz. Liz Hoffman, explain what you mean. I'm going to bring you in front of the court. Let's get it. We're just talking about Tesla CEO Elon Musk claiming victory in the shareholder vote to reauthorize his pay. He posted a chart on X showing votes in favor of Elon compensation with that line passing through a line labeled guaranteed win. And joining us right now to talk about it, Liz Hoffman, Semaphore Business and Finance Editor and a CNBC contributor. Good morning to you. Uh, there's lots of pieces of vote pass, but the judge might still hate, but it's OK. We're going to push for it this to pick apart. And of course, the vote is not over. Uh, folks can still change their vote uh, throughout the day. So we're going to be watching this probably till the end of today. But in terms of your big takeaways, if in fact this is the conclusion, the end of the soap opera, um, what do you think? And also, where do you think the soap opera goes? Because we all know this is still going to go to court no matter what. Yeah. Look, on the First of all, hold on, Liz. It wasn't a soap opera until you guys on the financial media made it a soap opera. It's really not, all right? It's just a litigation, no different than any other company, but this is pretty big. This is kind of different. True, but you made it a drama, okay? Let's continue. On the one hand, this is a strange time to be rewarding Elon Musk. Uh, Tesla has been one of the worst performing stocks in the S&P this year. There have been headlines about his behavior largely at SpaceX, around culture, around, you know, leaning on NVIDIA to prioritize the flow of chips. He's Allegations, allegations, and... Yeah, that might be a fact, but the compensation wasn't pending on one year. See, the weasels, right? 2018, all the way until now, 2024, and people are complaining about the last two years, when in the scope of where it was approved was for 1,000%. Let's take away 100% because this year it hasn't done great, right? It went down 80%. In comparison to the 1,000%, it did increase, right? When it had actual negatives. When it came down to revenue, now we're making a profit. Okay, we hit milestones. So it's not only market cap, it was also revenue and it was also operational metrics that we had and we met and he has met. So all these other things in which people are bringing into the conversation is irrelevant. But Liz Hoffman, no surprise, she would say something like that. Let's continue. He's sort of in some vague ways kind of held these boards hostage a little bit you know, promising to sort of pick up his toys and move to another another one of the companies that he runs if they don't kind of give him what he wants. So it's, it's a little it's a little bit of kind of uh, feeding the hand that bites you. But, um, but allegation again, and we showed up and voted for him. Your opinion doesn't matter if you're not a shareholder. Look, Elon Musk has in a, a strange, really singular way, been an incredibly good steward of these companies over long periods of time. And um, with the large exception of Twitter X, um, pr proximity to him has been good for shareholders. So I think there's a very fair argument to say pay him whatever he wants to keep him around. Are you surprised that it has cut this way? And are you, what are you anticipating in terms of the legal challenges that will be brought over this vote all over again? And so how much of this does this solve the situation? It is still possible that a judge in Delaware could look at this vote. Um, I mean, ob obviously they're doing this to try to persuade the judge otherwise, but what do you think, what do you think of that legal possibility? Hey, remember, the judges aren't in the business of saying you're paying your CEO too much money. They care about process. And the ruling here really was that. Actually, she did say that. <laughs> she actually said that. So judges are in the business of whatever they decide to. So that assumption is a false assumption. She can do whatever she wants to. And, and yeah, people could appeal and say it's unjust. But she was the judge and she dictated it. And that was an issue. That was the actual first statement. There wasn't enough evidence that the board, which you could argue how independent it is. The big question around Elon has always been, does he control these companies or not? Um, sort of, certainly not by stock, but by sort of sheer force of, of personality. I think the process was probably, they made some changes here and shareholders, if, if he's right so far, have said, again, yeah, we're sure we want to do this. And, and they're big boys and girls. I mean, you know. There we go. We're big men and big women, now boys and girls. All right. <laughs> but yeah, we decide what we want, man. Get out of here. Your breath smells like hot Cheetos, not her specifically. But guys, we decide. Not you saying, well, we didn't know. They didn't know. Like, come on. And it was one shareholder that launched this whole entire thing. As Elon said, and he recently said this, guys, this has got to start being 10%. There's got to be an actual threshold to it. Just one person can bring up this out of the million shareholders there is wasting our time.
I had better things to do. Uh, California pension, Norway had sort of come. Also, those were allegations about whether he holds power off his personality. What in the world are we talking about? You got a strong personality. So technically, you control everybody with your. Yo, come on, man. You're getting me too for a personality? Sort of come out and said they're not going to going to vote in favor. I tend to think we've seen this actually a couple times where, you know, those kinds of shareholders make a lot of noise, but actually have less influence than you think. There was a similar situation at Exxon a couple of weeks ago, and, and they made a lot of noise, and it kind of didn't, didn't really make a difference. Um, I think if you don't want to be in the Elon Musk business, you really shouldn't own Tesla stock. And I know it's in the index, and people are going to have to make some choices. Um, but uh, it's a little bit of a self-selecting universe, and and um, a lot of whom have made a ton of money by riding alongside, alongside right. Elon. So yeah, let's, let's pivot, though, because the other thing that's emerged uh, during some of which has emerged during this period, some of which may be tied to trying to even influence votes, has been a number of reports now, including the. Let's pivot. People have made money, but let's pivot from that because that's not what we're about. We're not about that. The big bombshell yesterday that landed uh, on the front page of The Wall Street Journal about his relationship with women at SpaceX. What See, let's pivot. This is. Uh, wait, hold on, man. Is this a money show? I hope it's not. Got the NASDAQ. Let, you know. He's made a lot of profit for his uh, investors and shareholders, but let, let's not talk about that. Let's pivot from that. Let's me to him real quick. Let's talk about that. Listen, I don't support that. So I'm going to fast forward past that. Today, that also appears to be passing to, to pick. Nope, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Let's move. The kind of telling people what to vote, but putting their own political spin on things like we've seen other places. Yeah, I mean, again, a report out of, out of Congress this week was sort of this vast left-wing conspiracy involving climate uh, nonprofits and proxy advisors and asset managers. And um, <clears throat> I think actually what's happening at the proxy advisors is it's shifting. And you're starting to see this actually at some of the big index funds, too, where they actually say, we don't really want to be in this business. We want to give it to the end shareholder. And so they've created these kind of like, you can think about them almost like little political parties or voting cards where you say, here are sort of my values. I'm a conservative. I'm a liberal. I care about the economy. I care about ESG, whatever. And they will kind of create a voting profile for you. Um, and actually, I think they've gotten ahead of some of this criticism uh, and and probably sort of a shift said, here, you take it basically to, to individual shareholders at the end of the day. Womp womp. What? I thought we were going to be talking about finances, right? But they spend it, the other half talking about allegations. Guys, it's annoying. Everybody's innocent until proven guilty, okay? Any other nonsense, I'm not with it, okay? And plus, wasn't that a financial channel? Right, a financial channel talking about maybe a civil or criminal case, and it's not even a case; it's an allegation. Like, bro, at this point, it's it's ridiculous. All right, everybody's getting accused of something, but the big homie Elon is innocent. And Elon, my shout outs to you. Don't hire women anywhere in the workplace. It just comes with too much, too much flack, too much issues. Just don't even do it, because somebody's just gonna. Launch an allegation if you just say hi in the wrong way. Might even be a dude the next time. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what Jerry says. I'm fine with being in the Elon Musk business. He's done more for humanity than all senators, congressmen put together, and more than all those people on that financial channel. So shout out to Jerry. Such a negative person to interview. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that person was negative. She was like condescending and passive aggressive with it, but there's no surprise. The old saying is that. If you don't like management, don't own shares in the company unless you're doing a hostile takeover, of course. Yeah, get out of the Elon business. If you don't like them, okay, cool. I don't know how you don't like somebody who puts a rocket in space and says he kind of does something good and creates the most successful and the only recently successful automotive company in the United States of America. I guess that guy's a failure, right? And she tried to take a snipe at X, but we on X, she on X, and X is up. It's leading in news generation in the world. So here we go again. Cat, right? How many times has this guy got to perform for people to show some respect? They love hating on Elon. So that's why we come out with our own media to kind of be able to provide a different narrative. This isn't a vote on today. Though many wanted it to be, it was paying the CEO for performance already realized, despite the argument of the guy with eight shares. Eight shares, guys. I think it might have been nine. This guy got nine or eight shares, right? And the judge is talking about they ain't in the business of seeing if a CEO get paid. They are in the business of listening to one person and ignoring the majority. 
which was 72 last time. And this time it voted in his favor and it was 73. And we're going to Texas because I don't like Delaware. Shout out to Dr. He said, all funds voted no. Sell Tesla shares. We don't want you. Okay. No, that's not true. <laughs> but whatever. You know, there's normies everywhere. But everyone loves to hate on Elon. But if you don't want to be in the Elon business, then get out. If you don't agree, then get out. It's completely fine. You're free. Go live your life. Go be free. All right. <laughs> don't don't put yourself through this misery of getting a thousand percent in shares. Let's let's skip that. Let's talk about all this other stuff, right? Accusations from ladies and stuff like that. It's nonsense, man. It's nonsense. Innocent until proven guilty. I don't believe all women. I know you guys like to, but I don't. I believe evidence. Now, if you got something wrong against that, then hey, so be it. It is what it is. I'm for evidence. You're against it. Let's do it like that. Let's let's call it like that. And I'm not only for evidence, but I'm also for the greatest country in the world, United States of America. Once again, we are always winning, leading the pack. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, right? Now, catch me on the next one, because the next one is going to be more hate coming towards Elon. But that's nothing new. But shout outs to America once again. One of the best companies out there to ever do it, USA and Tesla.